Hello, my name is Rich Finelli, and this is the 11th video in my Handlebars video training series. And by the way, every video in this series is available on YouTube, completely for free. If you end up getting value from this video, please check out my website, richfinelli.com, for more great web development tutorials. In this video, we'll continue learning about custom helpers. In the last video, we talked about the first type of custom helpers, expressions. The other type of custom helpers are blocks. Block custom helpers are very similar to the built-in helpers we are used to, like each, with, and unless. We're going to create two examples, make bold and two lower. Let's first make something bold. So here are the last two helpers we created. So let's create a new one using the same syntax. Handlebars.registerHelper. It takes two arguments, the name of the helper and the function, just like expression helpers. So we'll call this first one make bold. And let's also give it a little room to breathe. And we'll pass it a callback function. Now, we're going to pass that callback function one argument. We're going to call it options. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to return options fn this. Options.fn equals whatever appears between the starting and ending block. So let's look at our HTML and let's take this name. So let's do, let's wrap it in our block helper. Block helpers always start with a hash. So we'll do make bold. And they always end with a slash, make bold. So make bold opening, make bold closing, and then we put something in between that. So this convention is, is pretty much exactly like um, our each helper, like I said, our with helper. The only difference is in this case, I'm not giving it an argument. We can give it an argument, but we don't have to. So let's save that and let's go to the browser and we can see that. So we can see that nothing changes and that's because all we did is return this. So basically, if we look at our scripts, we just said, okay, return whatever is in between that helper, which was the name expression tag. So it, nothing really changes. But now what we can do is we can, we can modify this. So we can say, let's do a new handlebar safe string because we're going to return some HTML and we'll say we'll add our strong tag opening and a closing. We learned about handlebar safe string in the last video. Basically whenever you're returning HTML, the HTML will be escaped if we don't put it inside the handlebar safe string. So that should work. And now we can see our house, which is the name is bold. Stark, Lannister, Tarth, they're all bold now. So that's very useful. Now let's do something else. Let's convert something to lowercase. So let's say, you know, for whatever reason we want, you know, the, you know this data that's coming in could come in, you know, in all sorts of mixed case, uppercase, lowercase. Let's say we always want to show this in lowercase. So let's do another handlebars.registerHelper and we'll call it to lower and we'll pass it a function and we'll give it an argument called options and there we have it and we'll do return options.fn this which again is just whatever will be in between our opening and closing to lower block custom helper and then we're going to use the to lowercase method. The to lowercase method returns the value of the string converted to lowercase. That's not a handlebars thing, that's just a JavaScript thing. So you can use that on any string. Any string has a method called to lowercase that converts all characters to lowercase. Pretty straightforward. So now let's go into our HTML 
and we'll go to our location and we'll create an opening to lower that starts with a hash and a closing to lower that starts with a slash. We'll save it and now when we see the wall and marine and we look at it, now we can see they're converted to lowercase. So in conclusion, that is what we can do with custom block helpers and handlebars. And that's just not all you can do. You can do a lot more. You basically can do whatever JavaScript you want and act on that string that's between the opening and closing helper. That was awesome. Thanks for watching.